morning students hope you all are keeping fine today we are going to discuss how to insert a page remove a page move between pages and sort pages in a large document here we know that page maker is used for composing the pages in that we can insert a new page remove existing page move between pages and sort pages going to a specific page we know that in page maker we have we may have lot of pages it may be 2 pages 5 pages 10 pages or even 15 or 20 or 30 or 50 pages so it may be according to the document what we are create so the first method is use by page up page down keys this method is used to move the page using keyboard we can use the page up or page down keys to move the page up or down with the help of the page up or page down keys method 2 is by clicking the page icon at at the left button clicking the page icon moves to the correspond to the page which you want to view sometimes if you have 5 or 6 or 7 pages you will have the page numbers at the bottom of the screen so if you click 2 you will be taken to the second page and if you click on the seventh page you will be taken to the seventh page and so on third method is that you can choose layout go to page or the shortcut is that control plus alt plus g in the keyboard the go to page dialog box appears go to page dialog box appears so in that you can mention the page numbers and click okay button click the okay button so you will be taken to the desired page which you have mentioned if you have mentioned here two you will be taken to the second page if you have mentioned seven you will be taken to the seventh page inserting pages so uh, in the document you can insert any number of pages you want you can insert one page or two pages three pages four pages so in order to insert pages you can choose layout insert pages the insert pages dialog box appears type the number of pages you want to insert so that maybe as i told you maybe two pages three pages five pages or seven pages to insert pages after the current page choose after from the pop up menu so if you want to paste it in in front that means before choose before and if you want to choose it after that the document or the page to appear next then choose after from the pop up menu and click insert button so it's here so insert two pages and page after and click insert the new pages will be inserted how to remove the pages so remove pages the same menu you will have layout remove pages the remove pages dialog box appears so in remove pages dialog box choose the pages to be removed so page 1 and click okay button so that particular page will be removed so since here it is one the first page will be removed 
if you want to remove the second page just type 2 or if you want to remove the fifth page you just type 5 or if you want to remove the seventh page just type 7 and click ok button master pages any text or object that you place on the master page will appear on the entire document pages to which the entire master is applied so master page is used to do, uh, create a text or object that appears on the entire document pages so in all the pages it may appear it may be uh, something like uh, logos page numbers logos or uh, page numbers headers footers so all these things can be uh, given in the logo so that those things may appear in almost all the pages in almost all the pages the numbers page numbers headers footers all these things will be appearing in the in almost all the pages inserting page number in the master page to insert page numbers appears on every page click on the master page icon then click the text tool now the cursor changes to i beam i beam means insertion point then click on the master page where you want to put the page number press ctrl plus alt plus p for displaying the page number so when you click on the page number it may be appearing like this so the page number will be appearing like this so this is the option to insert the page number hide master items so view display items will help you to hide the master items so if you want to hide the logo or heading or the page numbers you can do it in the view display master items showing master page palette windows show master pages in the menu bar will help you to show the master page items which are which you have used so to create a new master page how to create a new master page so whenever you create a document already a document master page will be created suppose if you want to create a master page you can choose these following steps first one click on the master page icon in the master page palette the new master page dialog box appears enter the new name for the master page make the appropriate changes in the margins and column guides fields and click ok so your master page will be ready so this is the option where we have to give give a name for your master page the inside outside this is the margins so uh, top bottom uh, left and right side margins column guides and all those things you can do just click ok button you will be getting a new master page how to print a document choose file print or control plus p the print dialog box appears select the printer from the printer drop down list box so sometimes you may be connected with two or three printers so select the printer in which you want to print then choose the pages to be printed from the pages group so sometimes you may have 10 pages or 15 pages or 100 pages so choose the number of pages which you want to print so in this print option pages group you have the options like all on option is to print the whole document the entire document will be printed 
ranges ranges is used for mentioning some different page numbers so now for example 7 sorry 5 7 19 so only those three pages will be printed 10 to 17 so 10 to 17 pages only will be printed okay 5 comma 9 comma 15 to 26 so that means the fifth page will be printed ninth page will be printed and the pages from 15 to 26 will be printed the next one is print you can also print only odd numbers or even number pages select odd or even numbers from the drop down response so if you want to print only the odd numbers like 1 3 5 7 like this then you can choose the odd numbers or if you want to print like 2 4 6 8 like that you can choose the even number so all those things can be selected with the print document if you select all the whole document will be printed range you can select the ranges so uh, here you have the to type the number of copies number of copies you want so number of copies if you want one or two or three you can just uh, give it here so that the number of copies will be selected here then next one you can choose whether to calculate the pages or not if you want to calculate the pages if you can give ok otherwise you just leave it after choosing the option the print dialog box click print button to print the entire document so whatever we have selected that can be printed using the print button the print button will help you to print the document as per your requirement okay so if you want to print the whole document click all if you want to print some ranges if uh, you want to print only some few pages you can use the ranges if you want to print the odd or even numbers you can use the print option just click uh, print you will be able to print the document according to your requirement so dear students we have completed our lesson and you may write assignment as the one words from your textbook the two marks three marks and five marks from your textbook which we have not attended it so uh, here we conclude have a nice day thank you